What's poppin' Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this Marasaka, baby. Join me as I read you you all's lives. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. Baby, you already know I appreciate each and every single one of you Pisceans. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below and check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So this is going to be for my single Pisces. You already see the motherfucking title in this bitch. And I need you to go ahead and put chocolate on in the algorithms, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So your girl has been reading this book. As I'm rolling with my reaper, I need y'all to go on ahead and put chocolate on in the algorithms. Okay. And this video is sponsored by King Psychics. I need you guys to hit that description box if you need to get a dollar ninety nine off the next ten minutes for my Pisces. You already know I love you, baby. Now, check out that couture amour in the description box. Okay, girl, about to roll this blunt and it's not gonna be on it. Okay, now as I'm rolling my reefer, let me save my place. As I'm rolling my motherfucking reefer, Pisces. I was like, let me do a, my singles, baby, because you know I love y'all, baby. <laughs> I'm right there with you, honey. Okay. But I read from all perspectives. So, I've been reading this book like I showed you guys when I went to my library run last weekend. That I was going to get a few astrology books. And I've been asking questions and shit. Okay, since I've been reading these hoes. Now, with that being said... I want you guys to light up, smoke up, talk up, do what you guys to do. Kick your Piscean motherfucking feet up, baby. We about to see what's going down for our singles. Masculine and feminine. Okay, so whether you a left fish, two fish, right fish, blue fish, baby. Shit. Y'all already know what it is and what it ain't, okay? <laughs> So let me go ahead and get my disclaimers out there. Bitch, if you ain't single, click the fuck off. If you ain't looking for nobody and you got your grandma ears and your grandpa ears wide open, baby. Go on to, some, go on to somebody else. Okay. Okay, we need open ears around. Sure, babe. Now, with that being said, Pisces, let's see what's going down. Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Here we go. You must sage the cords for all of my Piscean gods, baby. All right, so I was reading this book. It is called Astrology, Your Personal Guide. Okay, got it for $8.00. At Barnes and Noble. Now, I wanted to read this shit to you guys, okay? So, it's saying that Pisces is a feminine water sign and the intuition and the feelings and emotions are at the heart of this sign's decision making and actions. Is that true, Pisces? Is that true? Is it? Are you basing your decisions off your heart? Okay? Because a, a bitch like me don't. I be basing my decisions off my mind. Okay? And my spirit is connected to my mind and so is my spine. I, oh, don't make me get Dr. Seuss on the help. So, it says, Pisces adapt to change circumstances better than most. Now, I can adapt. I can, I can agree to that. Okay? It says these qualities are useful because there's always some kind of chaos going on in their lives. Although it may be confined to one area of life, for instance, this person may have everything going well at work only to find that the domestic life is a mess. 
Is that true? I want to know for my single Pisces out there, is it true, okay, that you can adapt to changes, but you also have useful qualities that can help chaos or the things in the midst of the chaos, okay? Work would be just fine. Y'all be millionaires and trillionaires out out in this model soccer, okay? But the domestic life, how was that? I want to know for my Pisces out there. Y'all tell me down in the comments down below. Y'all know I be wanting to be informed and shit. Okay. I want to know all sides of the hemisphere. Okay. Oh, I'm going to use the dragon cards first. Because um, I said I wanted to use these on this reading for some reason. I don't know why, baby. Okay. But get what you get and don't throw a motherfucking fit. Now, we about to see what's really popping for you guys, okay, what new energies that's coming around and coming along. Now, we in a whole bunch of Mercury, uh, not Mercury retrograde, but Pluto, I mean, Jupiter, some shit like that. We in all them retrograde. So, I feel like, you know, a lot of you all are just content, okay, with your two little fish, okay, swimming in your dish. Yes. <laughs> Pisces. Y'all tell me if that's true in the comments for you give it to me for my single pisces what do they need to know about for my single pisces very first card is we have blue dragon from the pleiades prepares you to accept source healing accept a heart activation and to receive heart healing all right so y'all already know the motherfucking bullshit in the routine now if your heart is not uh in the right place okay or if your heart is not healed properly and you are testing it out on motherfuckers out here, okay? You won't get the wrong thing. That's what I'm seeing here. So make sure that your heart is healed and ready to receive what it's ready to receive, okay? So we also have pure white dragon from Orion's belt. Transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. Process what you know, act with truth and honesty, and let your wings of light grow and expand. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's some of y'all taking a step back, understanding where you at in life, okay? I also feel like uh, for some of you all, this could be, um, you know where you need to expand dealing with the people and the musty, dusty, crusties motherfuckers that y'all done dealt with in the past before, okay? They didn't show you signs that they were still involved with their mama, involved with their daddy, and need to go back in the womb and try again, okay? You are a mirror to them to see what they needed to see, okay? So, I feel like some of you guys are definitely that reflection, but at this point in time, you need to expand your wings and motherfucking grow, baby, okay? Some of y'all just like being alone and to yourselves, and that's what Pisces are known for being is to themselves okay but i feel like them saying ashes of the heart i don't know about that baby because my heart is connected to my mind and my spirit okay y'all tell me what y'all think but we got earth and air dragon it says represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth stay balanced ground your vision manifest your hopes and your dreams so some of y'all, it might be time to let the, your inhibitions run wild, okay? But also setting your motherfucking boundaries and futuristic options, Pisces. So it's saying to manifest your dreams, open the fuck up, okay? Now, I ain't trying, uh, you know, because this motherfucker got, you got the golden orange dragon. I'm going to skip over that shit. I want to pick out this one. We got emerald dragon brings in healing and cosmic abundance. Good fortune is coming. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection align with your fifth dimension blueprint. Okay, so y'all know I just took a few of these out the stack, okay, and just picked a card, but we got the Emerald Dragon. Okay, so some of y'all get into the motherfucking money. And can't nobody stop you. Okay, whether you mermaid, merman, guppy. I feel like your money is going to be very significant to a lot of you Pisces for a lot of you singles. So, you know, you might be seeing the difference of someone who is not on your level. Okay, this could be financial wise. You have to really think like that in these times. So let me get this. Um, 
this uh, Tower Royale for you guys. For my Pisces. So here we go. We're going to see if there's some new meat around the motherfucking corner too. Okay. Some booty meat. Or some ow, 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 ow. Okay. Some, something you can nibble on and bite on. Shit. Now, I don't know if this is long term that y'all looking for or what, but we about to find out what the fuck cards come out. Okay. Straight like that. <laughs> All right. Judgment energy here. So, shit. Some of you guys are seeing your calling. Okay. You could be focused on your calling with this judgment energy here. It could be putting you in this place of need, needing to see where you've criticized, where the criticism or you've criticized a lot. Okay. What you've been through. I feel like some of you guys have a shield of protection. Your angel guys that are around you as well, too. Especially with all these bodies. People that's dancing and jumping and shit. That's around with this judgment here. All right? Queen of Cup coming out. Pisces. So some of you guys, uh, you're not trying to give nobody no maternal uh, instincts. Okay? And have to guide somebody on how to be their motherfucking mom. Like I said, trying to get somebody to go back into the womb. So... I feel like some of you guys are just worried about yourself concentrating on yourself as need be okay shit bitch i am mad i am not mad so pisces could be um thinking about little companions like dogs and cats and fish okay also planting things in your gardens and um, i'm getting like just nurturing what you love around you okay six of cups as well too some of you guys just might be taking care of your motherfucking kids and you ain't worried about nobody, okay? You unbothered and shit. I understand, baby. Shit, click number, put press number one in the motherfucking comments if you understand. Shit, okay? Even if you ain't got no motherfucking kids. Straight like that. Some of you guys could be in your memories and you just feel like somebody, uh, you know, has you stuck with this eight of cups here in reverse. Also could be leaving ugly dusty situations behind and people that were not of your best benefit here is what i'm getting okay so for some of you pisces with this eight of cups in reverse you might feel stuck towards the situation especially dealing with people of the past this could be a baby daddy baby mama this also could be somebody that you you know call mama or whatever the fuck call baby all right but i feel like for some of you guys you feel stuck towards the situation and you're trying to get, reach out and touch some new pussy's hands. Okay, can I get an amen? <laughs> oh, Pisces, you know your girl's a mess. I'm just kidding. So, let's see what's new coming around my Pisces. Give it to me for my Pisces. What? Let's let's separate this shit. Let's see for the women. What's new for my women Pisces, my female Pisces? Okay, whatever you identify as. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here. So, some of y'all like, bitch, I'm cool. Okay. I don't need nobody, nothing. I got my money, okay? And I'm, I got my ideas, my thoughts, my imagination. Okay? Some of y'all might be bored with the opportunities or the offers that are around you. Okay? But I see nothing but offers of finances coming around you for my women, Pisces. Now, uh, if there is someone new, it could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, some of y'all might feel like you got to move around to find something new, honey, especially in your neck of the woods. Okay, for some of my females here, y'all is going to the road of recovery, honey, with the Six of Swords. Also could be somebody that you might have to travel to, okay? Let's see what's up. Give me one more. Oh, Wow. Two of Swords popping out. Emperor and Moon energy here. So whoever could be new, this could be somebody that owns their own business. I'm not going to read these other cards. It was, it was just a few of them. But you do have the Moon energy here. It's two of Swords and the Emperor here. So some of you guys might have two choices that might be coming up. Okay? Or you might be blindsided by these choices. Could be Eddie's. Also could be another Piscean here. Okay, magician. Eddie's Gemini. Now I know some of y'all don't be liking them old signs that you didn't mess with. Okay, they done ruined it for the whole entire uh zodiac. Okay. For the rest of life and eternity. But I feel like with this magician energy here, 
Um, you know, somebody could be new that's around. This also could be something that's online. I feel like somebody is potentially watching you with this magician here or they want to put their hands on you. Okay, they want to get in touch with you. Reach out and touch somebody's motherfucking hand here. Page of Wands. You might get some sort of news or some information. This could be a sexual energy as well, too, with the Ace of Wands. But I also feel like y'all be on that sapiosexual shit. You know what I'm talking about? So let's see for my fellas. All right, some of y'all ladies might meet somebody in your car or people might stop you while you buy the car or buy transportation, possibly. Here we go. Fellas, let's see what's popping. What's the new me? One more shuffle. Here we go. Ten. Ten of Pentacles. As I'm splitting the deck. So. I feel some of you guys are married to the money. Okay. This is how you, you know, work. Whistle while you work, baby. <laughs> you got the Nine of Cups here. So with this Nine of Cups, I see some of you guys just want some pleasurement, something new, something hot. This could be very possible here if you go uh, out for some of you Pisces or you meet someone out in public with this Four of Wands. This also could be a celebration here as well, too. I get that some of you guys could be attracting some Sagittarius, also some Scorpios. And I'm also seeing Cancetians here. Okay. Um, but I'm definitely getting that with this Four of Wands. Um, this could be somebody that you might meet outside. Tower energy here. Okay, this might be somebody who's taking a break on their lunch break or some shit like that with this Tower. Also with this Eight of Wands here and Queen of Cups. Definitely could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you might be reaching out to. All right, but there go that Ten of Pentacles, baby. So you might have some news or some information that's coming to you as far as income. But I feel like uh, a lot of you guys really... Like, if you are trying to, if you are getting out there and putting yourself out there, some of you guys might just be too much of Cruella DeVille and Jafar. I did just see the Five of Pentacles. <laughs> Straight up. So, what does Pisces need to know about? My single Pisces, what do they need to know about? We have the Ace of Wands here. This is like, I can do bad all by myself type of energy. Two of Wands. You've made some sort of final decision. Like, I know for myself, I'm like, I'm cool with being alone, you know? Um, I know how to do things on my own, how to get my own resources. I also feel like, you know, if there is somebody that is around, these people are always seeking some sort of attention. And I get that some of you guys are wanting the truth. But this is definitely something that's coming in twos here with this king, queen and king. Queen and king, Lord have mercy. With this, uh, both these queen of swords and queen of wands here. All right, so something is coming in twos. This could be a message, somebody of truth and intelligence. You, might, yeah, seven of cup energy here. So you might see that you know you needed to keep your motherfucking options open, baby. Okay, whether masculine or feminine, whether you a female that likes females and males, whether you're a male that likes males and females, and both and blended. Okay, whatever the fuck the mixture is, baby. Somebody is finding what they like here. Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm getting that some of you guys feel like you always have to pick and choose different uh, characteristics that you like from different people. All right. We have the Knight of Wands here and also the Judgment. So, I'm getting if you ain't getting out, Pisces, you ain't getting none. Straight like that. If you ain't getting out and mixing and mingling with people with this full energy here, this might be somebody that you can bounce along with. Okay. High Priestess, also King of Wands. So, give me this person's um, sign. For my Pisces, if there is anybody new, we got Leo energy. Okay, Nine of Cups, Strength energy coming out, and Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So, whoever this person is, they got to have that money back. Okay, they got to be on top. Now, some of y'all, this is just you on that money. But yeah, Nine of Cups. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. This could be somebody that you're just trying to get intimate with. All right, just the pleasure of things, the things that you like. Okay, this could be some of y'all. Trying to figure out if this motherfucker look like Uncle Festa. Because he does look like Uncle Festa. A little, just, just, just a little bit. Okay. But uh, I feel like for some of you guys, there's something coming into an alignment here. But you got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this King of Swords. Okay. Also Ace of Cups coming out. Wow. So singles, it is definitely some sort of potential here. 
Nine of Swords, but I feel like if you rush through it and this motherfucker ain't talking about shit, you're going to feel sorry, okay? Or you might feel like it's just somebody you connecting with with this devil energy. I'm also getting somebody that you might meet online. Some of you guys are leaving that type of behavior behind or that type of toxicity behind with this devil. Four of Pentacles, I'm also seeing some of you guys might meet this person at a legitimate business as well with this Four of Pentacles or some sort of uh, system here, okay? I'm also getting a place where you lounge at or a lounge, Six of Pentacles and Page of Swords. So this person is definitely watching here. It could be, uh, I'm getting two different energies. Like I said, y'all might be dealing with two people, but somebody's watching your beauty, baby. Okay. It's probably less than after your motherfucking ass right now. They're probably closing their eyes and uh, imagine. Okay. So... <sighs> Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. So what does Pisces need to know about in love for my singles? Coming up in September, what do they need to know about in love? We got switch up. Uh-oh. So yeah, this is two different energies here. I'm getting two different kinds. Okay, zaddy. Oh. And it's saying to count your motherfucking days as well, too, baby. Because somebody is really looking at your ass, like I said. Mm -mm -mm. We got night night here. So somebody wants to sleep with you. Now, long term, I feel like you're going to have to really put in some work with this Tyrone Biggums. Okay. <laughs> also feel like it could be some sort of message or some of you guys might feel like you have to, you know, block yourself off. You definitely might meet this person um, or you feel like you need to have the same fetish or the same type of, uh, you know, intimacy uh, values. <laughs> I've never heard of that word, but I just made that up. So with that being said, <laughs> with these day ones here, your girl just made that shit up, baby. And we got minutes. So, yeah, this could be something that you might have to, some of y'all might have to wait a minute, some more minutes, okay? But you definitely got leveling up here. You might meet this person at the top of the ladder, okay? Because you do have cheese. So, I'm seeing a lot of money or a lot of finances coming your way. And I'm seeing some of y'all just want a little sucker, okay? I don't know if this is a titty sucker, a dick sucker, or what, a ball sucker. I don't know what the fuck it is y'all do out there if you want them to, like, suck on a lollipop in front of you. I don't know, okay? But uh, I do feel like somebody's, you know, wanting to uh, have a victim. <laughs> we got sucker and gotcha, bitch. And incognito. So there could be some possibilities that somebody's keeping to themselves. Okay. But I also feel like some of y'all ain't going to just be dealing with the uh, same old, same old. You need to uh, have somebody that's washing their ass. Gotta, Because we got wash thine ass. We got bando her. Okay. So they need to have some sort of house or a place where you can... You know, do your thing or whatever. When I start talking about your person, it's like, damn. Okay, but I do feel like this person is watching you, baby. We got snitches get stitches. Page of swords as well, too, at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. All right, Pisces, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Tell me where you meet this motherfucker at and where you getting yourself out to. Okay. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.